You are an amazing person. God made you special and unique. He has every hair on your head numbered. He created you with a special plan and purpose just for your life. Don't listen to the negative people, the lies that the enemy tries to speak over your life. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. For man looks at the outer appearance, but God looks at the heart. Do not fear and do not be dismayed, for I am with you. Everywhere the sole of your foot treads, I have already given to you. I will guard and surround you with my mighty angels and my hedge of protection. Only trust in me. Fear God and not man. Do not be a people pleaser. Seek my heart, seek my will for your life, because in that you will find fulfillment and satisfaction. I will be with you everywhere you go. So do not fear and do not turn to the right or to the left, but stay on the narrow path. For broad is the path that leads to destruction, and many will find it. But narrow is the way, and few will find it. He who has ears, let him hear. Call out to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and he will help you, he will save you, and he will be with you. The righteous are as bold as a lion, so do not fear, but know that I am with you, and I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Hallelujah. God, I just pray for every single person listening to the sound of my voice, that Holy Spirit, you would Give them peace. Give them strength through whatever circumstance they may be going through. I pray for healing. I pray for deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I pray for encouragement that anyone who's been feeling discouraged or in despair, that Lord, you would just come alongside them, pick them up mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, in every way, Lord God. Anything that they might be going through, I pray, Lord, that you would just send the comfort of your Holy Spirit, that you would lead and guide them into all truth, that you would reignite the fire in them, that they would hunger for your word, hunger for your righteousness, that they would seek you with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength, that they would thirst for your word, that they would begin to renew their minds through the washing of the word. Lord, I pray for righteousness and holiness to be their desire, that you would remove all worldly, fleshly desires in Jesus' name, that you would make them brand new, and that you would bless and heal their families, that you would bless and deliver them from all trauma, from any past experiences. And Lord, if there's anyone that they need to forgive and they're having problems doing that, I pray that you would help them right now. Help them to forgive and release. Help them to do it out of obedience to you, not because the people who have hurt them deserve it, but that because they want to be pure and holy, they want to see your face, Heavenly Father. I pray that you would help them, Lord. Apart from you, we can do nothing. And I thank you that you care, that you have every hair of their head numbered, that you have every day of their life ordered, that you order their steps, Lord God. And I thank you, Father, that the righteous can abide under the shadow of your wings and find protection and find peace. I just declare right now the peace of God, which passes all understanding and guards your heart and mind in Christ Jesus would be upon you, that the Holy Spirit would overcome you and fill you with such joy for the joy of the Lord is your strength, that he would fill you with hope because hope deferred makes the heart sick, but that you would completely begin to trust in God and lean not to your own understanding, to draw near to him, to seek him with your whole heart because then you will find me, says the Lord. Father, I thank you right now for drawing your sons and daughters into your arms, your loving, gracious, compassionate arms. In Jesus' mighty name, fill them with peace, fill them with strength, fill them with hope and joy. And I praise you and give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.